This video is a quick review of the Carinado Cessna 182 RG from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Right out of the gate, the aircraft comes equipped with a steam gauge panel. Inside that panel, as you can see here, is a Garmin GNS 530 that is a default GPS. But simply click in the tablet in the right pocket, you can hit the next page, and then you can activate the GPS that you have. In this case, I have the TDS Simulation GTN 750. Continuing on inside the cockpit, nighttime lighting is fairly decent. Lighting can be adjusted with the two rheostats seen here to adjust backlighting on each instrument and also overhead lighting. An outside air temperature gauge will also be easier to read. If you click it, it will move closer to your face, which is not why this thing pulls out. More on that later. It's now officially later. Those are actually vents. If you click on that, it comes out and you can actually hear the air blowing. Moving on to some of the systems, the circuit breakers do not work. They're just there for looks, which is definitely not a deal breaker because until Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 has failures, there's really no point in circuit breakers without an emergency checklist. One flaw that I did find was with the avionics. Turning the avionics master switch off as I did there, the autopilot panel here is still on. But if the alternator and battery on the master switch are both turned off, it's still on. There's no electrical power going to this airplane right now at all. So that is a mistake. That should not be on. Typical of other Carinado aircraft, opening a door in flight results in a crash. And if you're strong enough to open a door that far in flight, the airplane's still not going to crash. Turning the auxiliary fuel pump on results in no increase in fuel pressure when the mixture is in cutoff. If the mixture is set to full rich and the aux boost pump is turned on, there's now a rise in fuel pressure, which would be accurate. The gear warning system will sound if the throttle is reduced below an approximate manifold pressure with the gear retracted. Increasing the throttle to approximately 12 inches of manifold pressure will make that gear warning stop but also extending the gear will make that gear warning stop, which is what it is there for. I will go out on a limb here and guess that everybody already knew that, but this was just my way of showing the gear swing animation without having people get bored and click off to the next video. The landing gear on the Carinado 182RG can be operated up to 140 knots indicated airspeed, as well as the first notch of flap can also be operated up to 140 knots of indicated airspeed as you just saw the flap handle go down while the airplane was well outside the white arc. The autopilot in the 182RG will also fly precision approaches. It will do ILS approaches and fly the glide slope down to the runway and will also do the same thing with an RNAV approach with LPV. Now taking a look at navigation. In front of the aircraft right there is a VOR. That's not what they actually look like, but they do in Microsoft Flight Simulator in some places. Quickly, here's what a VOR looks like from the ground. As the VOR is approached, there's a two flag on the HSI. Once we cross over the top, that will go away, and then it will flip to a from indication as you're gonna see right there. And that works as expected. When I do aircraft reviews, I like to check the navigation systems because there was an aircraft that was released that the VOR did not indicate properly when crossing the VOR. When an NDB frequency is tuned in the receiver 269, the automatic direction finder, the bearing pointer actually turns and points in the proper direction where the NDB would be located. One area that is a little bit underwhelming is the engine and propeller sound the 182 makes. I've heard lots of 182s take off in real life, and they sound much deeper and beefier than what we hear in this version. The 182 has a 235 horsepower engine. It has a range just under 700 nautical miles, and the true airspeed at approximately 8,000 feet 
is around 148 knots. This airplane is not turbocharged, so that true airspeed is going to hover right around 150 knots at pretty much any altitude you fly the airplane at. Another little added feature, the gear indicator lights you can press to test and make the lights illuminate, which would be realistic in the actual aircraft, as seen here. Looking down here below the gear handle, there is a slight animation issue. You can see that little lever moving up and down when the gear moves. That shouldn't be there, it's hardly noticeable. Definitely, it's not a deal breaker. Another slight issue on the fuel computer, the gallons remaining and the gallons used are accurate, but something that's not accurate is this selection, nautical miles per gallon. The nautical miles per gallon selection is actually the gallons per hour. We can check up here and see the fuel flow, 12.7 gallons per hour on the GPS, and they actually match. The efficiency is also shown on the GPS at 10.6 nautical miles per gallon. The gallons to the destination closely matches the efficiency shown on the TDS GTNX i750. However, the endurance selection does match the value given on the face of the GPS. This aircraft was not given to me free of charge. I purchased it in the Microsoft Marketplace with my own money. With that being said, would I recommend it to the audience watching this video? Absolutely. There are things about it that are not perfect, but overall it is a good airplane. It does what you would expect it to do, even though there are a few small errors that can easily be fixed in an update. There are also multiple different liveries included with this download, which also include a variation of the standard black panel. Documentation for the Cessna 182RG can also be found on Carinado's website. By clicking press here, you can download the 182RG emergency and normal procedures checklist, as well as a performance manual. If you're new to the channel, I am a professional pilot and former flight instructor. After this video, be sure to stick around and check out some of those other videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.